So hello folks, Pogo News is here with yet another video. As we did an in-depth analysis of CSK's pre-season team analysis, we are here on another video to proceed another team's analysis. So we'd go on with DC. As we know that their previous season, how how bad it had went with just five wins in with just five wins and with just ten points in the absence of Rishabh Pant. So myself, Raghav. With Devans and Chitrans, who is joining us in this video as a, a new person, so it's now over to Chitrans. He'd continue with, with the with whatever he has gathered uh, on the team. Okay, thank you so much, Raghav. So, hello, guys. Talking about Delhi Capitals. So, talking about their retentions, Rishabh Pant is an automatic retention that was there. Who was bound to come back. They have retained Praveen Dubey, the leg spinner, David Warner, automatic retention, the left arm spinner, Vicky Ostwal, Prithvi Shaw. Uh, this this could have been a very interesting retention. They could have also let go of Prithvi Shaw, but they have decided against it, uh, which is an encouraging sign uh, considering that the kind of run he has been and the kind of injuries that he has faced of it. There's Enric Nokia, there's doubt over his injury injuries as well. So we'll have to look whether he comes back to the IPL after missing most part of the last season. They have retained Bengal's wicketkeeper Abhishek Purel, Kuldeep Yadav, Aksar Patel, there's Lungi Ngidi as well, Lalit Yadav, Khalil Ahmed, uh, Mitchell Marsh, Ishan Sharma, Yash Dul and Mukesh Kumar. So, these people are more or less those those cricketers which were expect to, expected to be retained by the Delhi Capitals. But now the players which they have bought in this auction. So I'll I'll just go through all of that. There's Harry Brook, Tristan Stubbs, Ricky Boy, Kumar Kushagra, the upcoming uh, talent from Jharkhand. There's Rasik Salam from Jammu and Kashmir. Chai Richardson comes back into the IPL from Australia. Sumit Kumar, Shea Hope, and Swastik Chikara from UP. So just to take this conversation ahead. Uh, what were the reasons uh, you guys think that uh, Delhi were not able to perform last year? Devans, you could if you could throw some light on this. First of all, uh, what I think is uh, the missing uh, missing Rishabh Pant. Uh, that was a very big blow because uh, he has been leading the side, and uh, so Rishabh Pant was a major blow uh, to Delhi. Because in Rishabh Pan, they lost the captain and also lost the crucial batsman. Usually batted at 3 or 4. And also the middle order. I think uh, even in this option, they have not been able to cover that entire middle order. The middle order still looks a bit shaky, I, I feel. So I think primarily these two were the concerns. I think the missing of Rishabh Pan and the middle order were the major concerns which led to their downfall in the previous season. So covering from where they once so, left, that uh, highlighting that Delhi doesn't have a that that experienced middle order, I would say, uh, picking up some new batters uh, like Harry Harry Brook and Ricky Bui. The I, I would say he's the most imperative pick for DC, who have been performing in in the Ranji as well. He, uh, they also have Tristan Stubbs, who have performed brilliantly in SA Twenty this season. I would say that they can or they they will hopefully try to cover it as much as they they were not able to cover it the last season in absence of Rishabh Pant. And also Rishabh Pant coming in again this season and playing as a captain for Delhi. It would it would it would really help them. It would really help the the attitude Rishabh Pant carries with him. I would say that it's a it's it it could be a very great season for them. Uh, heading 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 with their first match against Punjab Kings. So yeah I would say that uh, not having experienced players, yeah, that's a problem for them. But having youngsters who have been performing and who have been in a form and a really good form, they can they can really give a tough competition to other competitive teams. Okay, fair enough. So over the years, we have seen that the teams who have a good Indian mix, youth of Indian experience as well as uh, uh, Indian young generation, they have uh, they have done pretty well in the IPL, be it CSK or be it. MI. So, in terms of the auction that they had this time, apart from Rishabh Pant and Prithvi Shaw, if the batting is concerned, who else do you think can step up and actually 
take control of that middle order uh, as far as Delhi Capitals batting lineup is concerned. I would go with I would go with definitely I would go with uh, Mitchell Marsh and Harry Brook. They have been performing in T20 okay. eyes. We have seen the Australia captain uh, Mitchell Marsh. He he led the team. Okay, he that's... led the team against West Indies recently in the T20 uh, eyes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's okay because Mitchell Marsh and Harry Brook are big big ticket players. That's that's totally all right. But I'm saying which of these Indian new recruits. Can help yeah. Rishabh Pant and Prithvi Shaw. And whom do you see who could help these people to take the batting lineup forward? Yeah, as I said, uh, Ricky Bui. Ricky Bui he is the leading run scorer for uh, Andhra with nine nine hundred and two runs with a with a splendid average. He has been performing and he led Andhra Pradesh from the front with with uh, leaving a mark of his performance and. Delhi would be very impressed after after picking him in the auction and after seeing seeing his performance. I would say he can definitely help Rishabh Pant yeah. along with Kumar Kushagra, as you said the as you said the emerging talent from Jharkhand. He can also play a very very crucial role in the middle order. I'm glad you mentioned that Kumar Kushagra has been recruited by Delhi Capitals for quite a hefty amount that is seven point two zero crore, yeah. but. I, I would like to know both of your opinions on whether Kumar Kushagra can make it to the 11 in the first place because as I see here, the squad list, they already have five wicket keepers, including Risham Pant. And given that Risham Pant will not be keeping as of now, as per the reports, if, if the reports are to be believed as of now, then if Risham Pant does not keep, so you have you have Tristan Stubbs, you have Ricky Boy, you have Kumar Kushagra, yeah. and you have Shea Hope. And there's yeah. Abhishek Porel in the mix as well. So, uh, all of these people, who do you think will make it to the playing 11 as a wicket keeper? Uh, what do I think that Shea Hope hasn't hasn't been really doing wicket keeping in the recent times? And if if I'll tell you my playing 11, I I have included uh, Ricky Bui. But yeah, as the as the wicket. Do not disclose. Do, do not yeah, disclose not, your not. playing 11 yeah, just not, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, let's let's save the best for the last. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, just I'm, to which which is that wicket keeper? Yeah, I, I would definitely go with. We'll I, I would definitely go with. Uh, de- de- definitely go with Kumar Kushagra. If uh, I would definitely okay. initially I would go with Kumar Kushagra and keeping that we can only play four overseas players. Uh, initially I would go with Kumar Kushagra and then if if anything uh, unfortunate happened then I would definitely pick up uh, Tristan Stubbs, uh, excluding another overseas batter or a bowler if I. Have, Included it, included him in my eleven. Yeah, you'd actually bet on Tristan Stubbs given that he has scored a triple century yeah. in his last competitive match, yeah. also. Yeah. And uh, do I need to ask Devansh this question because he belongs to Jharkhand and he uh, seems to be in love with Kumar Kushagra? So, I uh, am. Am I already yeah, guessing what is his answer? Yeah, yeah. I'll surely go with Kumar Kushagra itself because I think uh, he is a great talent. Uh, I've seen him closely uh, coming up through the ranks and uh, he has been performing pretty well uh, for Jharkhand, if you see. Uh, he's still uh, 20 and uh, his Ranji performances yeah. and even uh, the list taker just speaks for himself. He even got a chance to play uh, for India Red, I guess, uh, where he won some games down the order. So, And uh, also the amount that uh, DC has actually spent on him. I think uh, they'll, uh, they'll give him uh, that chance initially as a wicket keeper, and I feel he'll bat at uh, six or seven mostly, uh, depending on where they bat Akshit Patil uh, in the order. Yeah, so last season there were always questions on the DC management why do not they promote Akshar Patel up the order? And even after all those questions, they weren't they weren't keen on promoting him up the order. So uh, given they still do not find a good name filling that middle order, we'll have to see whether they promote Akshar Patel this time around. But now, given that, we'll move, uh, move to uh, the curious case of Prithvi Shaw. Prithvi Shaw, yes, as we said earlier, that he has been retained by Delhi Capitals, but now he was dropped midway through the, se- through the last season, yeah. in which at the earliest, when uh, Ricky Ponting was asked about Prithvi Shaw, he said that he would have a blast of a season, and he didn't. Though he came back at the last stages, if I'm not wrong. But 
do you see him start the IPL opening with David Warner, or do you see a change in the opening partnership of the De- uh, Delhi Capitals? I definitely see Delhi Capitals backing him. Uh, although he haven't performed in the for Mumbai in the recent Ranji matches, he haven't performed. Yeah, as obviously he was out for from injury, but I definitely see Delhi backing him because he has really done well for Delhi. Not past year but before he has done very well so I definitely see Dilly backing him Ricky Ponting obviously backing him but if not then Dilly definitely have a very huge concern to look up to it and whom they will promote as, as the opener in place of Prithvi Shaw yeah that's that's a question to be answered by the Delhi management there's Harry Brook who has the experience of opening in the IPL previously yeah. there's Tristan Stubbs as well who is coming off a good uh, run at the SA20 uh, as well as test matches uh, coming so, to that point uh, I feel yeah. uh, Yash can be a potential option there of the order uh, I yeah. still feel that uh, FIFA will start uh, but uh, I uh, yes, do can be a potential option there if Delhi is looking for someone else. Uh, because but if you will see, Prithvi Shaw's comeback has been pretty decent. Uh, he has performed uh, decently well in the Ranji game, uh, which he played re- uh, recently. Season, yes. So I feel uh, they will start uh, with him for sure, and he's a proven player. So I think they'll give him that extended run for sure. Yeah, uh, that's why perhaps they have retained him also. So interesting choice there, Yash Dul. Yash Dul actually, if I'm not wrong, they had given him a few chances last year. He couldn't uh, take up those chances. That's a different story. But uh, yes, that's a there's a question to be asked to the DC management on who will be uh, opening alongside David Warner. But most likely, as you guys agreed to it, it will be Prithvi Shaw. So the last of the batting conversation that we are having about DC, a very Outlier of a cricketer who has been picked uh, in this auction by DC, that's Swastik Chikara. So, Swastik Chikara, the reason why he has been picked by DC is because of the UPL T20 that happened, uh, the domestic league or the franchise league that had been introduced by the UPCA just now. Yeah. He was the second highest run getter in that tournament with a strike rate of 168. So, just to throw a question at uh, both of you, do you guys think that by any chance uh, will he be getting a place in the playing eleven, or will be will he be getting that place at the last later stages of the tournament when either DC have already qualified or either DC had uh, have already been eliminated? So, what do you guys think about his position in the team? Uh, see, what I think is DC the performances DC have been given to the fans as well as to the IPL. I don't think so that he, he would be getting a chance initially in the first phase or the initial uh, start in or the initial second phase because Delhi needs Delhi need to do something uh, significant and they need to qualify for the playoffs, I would say. But yeah, later definitely if Delhi have bought him and they should give him a chance, uh, considering the stats you just you just uh, highlighted. So I would what 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 do I think that Delhi Delhi should first con, uh, should first concentrate on qualifying or just uh heading on a heading at a position where they can feel like yeah they are in a good position and now they can give a chance to the youngsters or the other other other, other young players whom they have in the squad. So firstly going yeah as you said that in the later phases of IPL after heading at a position where they can feel yeah now we are at a good position and now we can give chances to other players. So, yeah, definitely he can get a chance at that stage. Not initially because Delhi, as I earlier said, that Delhi have to do something this season. Back as the captain is back, as now they have Mitchell Mars as a, a very, I would say, a ton of experience he has. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, first, now they, so, they have to do something yeah. to get to the playoffs first. Yeah, they've won, they've not won any IPL from the last sixteen seasons. So yeah. I think they want to stick with the with the best eleven that they have. So so moving on to the all rounders and the bowlers, you have Mitchell Marsh in there, who is probably the second or third name that comes to your mind when you're playing the play when you're making the playing eleven. Yeah. 
there's Lalit Yadav, there's Akshar Patel, and there's the new recruit, Haryana's Sumit Yadav. So, and then moving on to the bowlers, there's Ishan Sharma, there's Rasik Salam, there's Enric Nokia. Talking about Enric Nokia, we'll come back to him. There's Lungi Engedi, Mukesh Kumar, Khalil Ahmed, and Jai Richardson. He's he's being paid. He's he's being taken up for five crores. So that's a yeah. quite hefty amount. And he's 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 also a good bowler, but he's still injured. And there's no further news on whether he'll be taking part in the IPL or not. So that remains to be seen. Uh, there are off spinners: Vicky Ostwal, uh, there's Kuldeep Yadav, and there's Praveen Dubey. So just to uh, take your take take your uh, opinion on who will form the bowling attack. I suppose that Khalil Ahmed and Mukesh Kumar would start as the fast bowling options. Uh, there's Kuldeep Yadav and Akshar Patel for spinners. Who else do you think would be there as a potential bowling option and will make the playing eleven? And given that Andrik Nokia's injury uh, status is not yet known, whether he'll be coming or whether what what time will be coming, he will he be coming at the IPL? So given that. What who who else do you think will be in the mix for that bowling contention? Yeah, I honestly, uh, agree with the four options which you uh, said. Uh, I also feel Mukesh Kumar, Khalil Ahmed, and Akshar and Kuldeep will start for sure. And when it when it comes to the four, uh, fifth bowler, uh, obviously uh, Nokia will be the primary choice. But in case if he is not available, I feel Lungi and Gidi might just uh, get a chance because uh, he has uh, done decently well for CSK uh, when he was part of that squad and also his international uh, records. So I feel uh, because that's uh, that's uh, eventually the potential option that DC has uh, as a replacement of Andrik Nokia. I don't see any solid replacement. Uh, Jail Richardson is there. But uh, still, I don't, uh, I don't actually feel that Jai Richardson uh, will play. I think uh, Lungi and Gidi might just uh, get above Jai Richardson. Also, Ngidi has been a part of DC uh, from the last year, if I'm not wrong. But he didn't so get, think, get a game, uh, if I'm not wrong. He didn't get a game, yeah. but still, uh, yeah. I feel my instincts uh, tell me that Ngidi just might uh, get a chance this time around, if Nokia so- is not there. So, if given a chance, will uh, if given a chance, will you pick Lungi NGD over Jai Richardson? If Jai Richardson is fit, I feel yes. Uh, Jai Richardson, I personally don't think. Uh, honestly, I have not been so impressed with him. Uh, he has played some IPL games, but uh, he hasn't been that great. And I feel Lungi NGD uh, can be a better option because he also has that height factor. And he can hit the deck uh, pretty solid. So, I think Lungi and Gidi, uh, for me, is a better option. But yeah, yeah to be honest, a player out of CSK. Yeah. yeah, you can take a player out of CSK, but you cannot take a fan out of CSK. So, that's why I think Devans is preferring <laughs> Lungi and Gidi. Yeah, yeah, Raga, go ahead. Yeah, to be honest, backing, with, so backing Sumit Kumar, uh, they have bought him. But considering that you can only play four overseas players, uh, so I would, if uh, both Andrik Nokia and Lungi and Gidi are not, uh, I, I would not prefer them over Sumit Kumar because Sumit Kumar gives you a feature of batting as well, which Delhi have suffered last year. So having him in the team and considering his record as, a, as an all-rounder, not just as a bowler, so he have performed uh, Ranji, in in Ranji season, and so I would definitely go with uh, Sumit Kumar because he is a he he is a comp- competent uh, all rounder. I would say not just a bowler, but yeah, I would definitely go with Sumit Kumar because Delhi need they, if Delhi are backing Indian youngsters, so they should definitely make them play. Not not considering that if they are not in a position because he is giving them both the options to bat and to ball. But would you prefer him to bowl four overs because you are searching for a fifth bowler? Then you'll have to uh, look at a sixth option whether you can divide those four overs. Into yeah, definitely two, two I can divide those. Definitely, like definitely I can divide those two overs with uh, among uh, Sumit and other. If 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 I would play some other all rounder in my team. Okay, then then we'll get to the playing eleven. Then we can discuss it at the end. 
So moving on to the spinners, there there's a backup op- option for Akshar Patel and Vicky Oswal, and there's a leg spin option that DC have uh, given themselves in the form of Raveen Dube as well. Mm. So I think the spin, uh, the spin uh, base is uh, quite covered, and DC look quite potent at that front. But again, uh, when you look at the fast bowling exploits, there's Ishan Sharma as well. There's experience in him, but. We doubt that Ishan Sharma will make it to the playing eleven. He will more or less act as a backup option. So on that front, do you think that the fast bowling exploits of DC are lagging behind to some extent, or or uh, or, uh, or are light as compared to their spin uh, uh, spin options that they have? Uh, I would definitely <laughs> disagree on Ishan Sharma being a backup for Delhi Capitals because. He have perform- He have given them the performance Delhi wanted with playing eight innings and taking ten wickets. That too in a stadium, uh, in uh, Arun Jaitley Stadium with an economy of eight point two four and strike rate have of fifteen. So I don't think so that he will remain a backup for Delhi. Moreover, I would say Mukesh Kumar obviously he will start the season, but considering he was not economical, as he considered as he considered a. Uh, Runs with a economy of ten point five two, but yeah, I definitely he would uh, start the season and with along with Khali, uh, Khalil Ahmed, I would say he has he has just played six matches and he has taken uh, eleven wickets and with just an economy of seven point two six. Uh, yes, uh, so on that part, uh, I agree with Raghav. Uh, even I think that uh, Khalil Ahmed and Mukesh Kumar will start for DC. Ishan Sharma, it's it's difficult for me uh, to for him to uh, make the eleven. Although as Raghav mentioned, uh, he did decently well, uh, but I still uh, still feel Mukesh Kumar and Khalil Ahmed uh, will be the two Indian pace bowling option that would uh, start for DC. Okay, so more or less we have covered all the aspects of the bowling. Uh, of the bowling options that DC have given yeah. themselves. So moving on to the showstopper now. So Rishabh Pant, their captain, their leader, is returning for this IPL. And as we all know, DC didn't perform as well as they should have done in the captaincy of David Warner last year. They finished ninth. And uh, though David Warner scored some runs, but he didn't receive uh, any kind of support from the others as well. So, what difference do you think that a person like Rishabh Pant coming into the team will make it make uh, to the environment and eventually the results that DC are seeking? Uh, first of all, I mentioned yeah. earlier that uh, the attitude he carries with himself, I would say it would play a huge role. Uh, the fighting attitude, the thriving attitude to make the team go above the line to win the, win the games, it would definitely influence the players to play as hard as they can to make the team win the games as much as they would like to win. And considering his health, Rishabh Pant's health, as we all know that he is fit and he definitely would have to pass the fitness test to come into the games. And everyone would like him to play as much as games he can. But yeah, obviously considering his fitness. So, yeah... Uh, being David Warner in the team along with Mitchell Marsh, Shea Hope, Ishan Sharma, Akshar Patel, uh, we felt that it's not a that good team on a paper. But I would say with these players making to the playing eleven, I would say that Rishabh Pant joining them in the season as a captain, it would definitely help Delhi to to impulse themselves to another level. Okay, Devansh, your thoughts on this? Uh, see, uh, I feel it's going to be a grand comeback. <clears throat> because uh, as you rightly mentioned, uh, Risha Pant is not just a captain, uh, but he's the leader of that side, uh, if I can put it that way. Uh, and uh, his absence hugely impacted the DC campaign last year. Uh, you know, uh, there are some players whose presence is only enough uh, for the opponent. He's that kind of a player. When he's there, you know, he can change the game on its head. Uh, so, he is obviously a special player and I think it's going to be a grand comeback. And uh, uh, coming back of Rishabh Pant, uh, and if he plays all the games, uh, it will surely help DC's cause uh, 
to a great extent because i feel uh, he would be raring to go this season having missed the last season and it's going to be his comeback this tournament uh, so he'll just be at it best uh, now what i feel and yes uh, it's going to be very important for dc his role and uh, if he can uh, play all the games uh, nothing better yeah so yeah as you correctly pointed out i think that alongside his captaincy rishab pan the batsman will be more Uh, potent to the success of uh, Delhi Capitals. So coming back to his captaincy, so he is used to captaining any side, being a wicket keeper. And now that he is not going to keep, most probably, how difficult or how easy it is going to be for him to be on the field and not be as a wicket keeper and then captain the side because he's not used to it. He will he take some time uh, to settle into that role or how is it or will he is he uh, so equipped? that he will straight away uh, start making good decisions and then take the right calls uh, yeah i think no. uh, yeah i think uh, not keeping will be uh, i would say a bit odd for him uh, because he has done that role uh, for a long time now but i think uh, he's played uh, uh, as a fielder as well in the indian setup and uh, when it comes to his captaincy i don't feel uh, it would be something that would be difficult for him because uh, he has done that for some time now and uh, i think he'll just get uh, equipped in that role uh, pretty easily so i don't think i'm talking about captaining as a yeah i am talking yes, about yes. him captaining not as a wicket keeper from a wicket keeper's position but as a normal fielder in the outfield or maybe in the 30 yard circle so there's a different vis- uh, viewpoint that a keeper has and he's used to that viewpoint so will he able to adapt that very quickly or will he take time what do you guys think i think uh, yes as you rightly mentioned being a keeper and a fielder is captaincy his perspective might change but i think he is experienced enough to adapt to it uh, because uh, he'll mostly field in the inner circle is what i feel uh, even if he is fully fit uh, he'll be inside the circle and uh, if he's not keeping then to he'll uh, get adapted to it pretty quickly is what i feel because he has a lot of experience uh, now uh, he has played for for a long time now so i feel uh, yes he'll get uh, very, very quickly adapted to that role as well and definitely agreeing with devans and i would like to m- mention that ricky ponting along with the mentor saurav ganguly the way they push him i don't think so that he'll be facing any problem as a captain uh, captaining as a fielder okay yeah so coming to the last part which is the most interesting perhaps of all the discussion that we have done till now guys just just tell me your playing 11 it's as simple as that just get straight to the point dagaf please go ahead with your playing 11 so yeah my playing 11 definitely would be starting with david warner uh, then i am not backing prithvi shaw considering his performance in the mg trophy and over the past years so mitchell march will be replacing him then comes at number 3 shay hope at number 4 i would i would bring in ricky bui or kumar kushagra ricky bui or kumar kushagra uh, if if shay hope will not keep then definitely kumar kushagra will come in and then at number 5 i would bring in rishabh pant and at number 6 harry brook then starting then coming the all rounder uh, aksha patel with that number 8 kuldeep yadav then khalil ahmed definitely considering his past year past year's performance and then mukesh kumar and ishan sharma i would like to go with okay, interesting that you have none overseas yeah. uh, none overseas bo- bowlers okay so you have eliminated or you have kept anrik norkia out irrespective yeah. of whether he is available or not irrespective of mm-hmm. he's yeah if he is injured or okay. interesting that you have included harry brook at number 6 given that he has also performed that role to good extent in the recent west indies series where he won yeah. a match for england so yes. okay devansh you are playing 11 uh, so uh, i'll i'll back up uh, with pisho i'll open with pisho and warner for me at 3 would be mr marsh uh, at 4 uh, shapan Harry Brooks will play at five. Uh, what I feel, uh, sixth will be Kumar Kushagra as the keeping option. Uh, at seven would be Akshay Patel. 
uh, eight would be Kuldeep Yadav, and uh, they would be followed by the three bowlers, which would be uh, Mukesh Kumar, Khalid Ahmed, and uh, either of Anrik Nokia or Lungi Engiri, whosoever please. Okay, so both of your sides have a good batting depth as well as enough bowling options. So yeah. both of these sides look yeah, think, balanced uh, as of now. Yes, I feel uh, this side, uh, my playing eleven, I feel it looks uh, really balanced uh, because it gives you five bowling option plus Mitchell Marsh, um, whom you can also bowl uh, in that position. And also if you see Akshar Patil is coming into bat at seven. So uh, that gives you good position and also the batting form of recent batting form of Kuldeep Yadav. Uh, so you never know at eight uh, he can uh, handle the bat pretty well as well. So he can also give you a few runs. Uh, DC will be really hoping that he, he can back a few and score those in your uh, in those very important runs uh, in the lower middle order. So yeah, that was that's about it from us as far as that DC. Uh, preview of the squad analysis was concerned. Uh, anything to add from both of you all? Yeah, I would just like to. I would just like to add that uh, backing our Indian bowlers would be the main main focus of Delhi Capitals. I would say, yeah. Uh, except I would say Mukesh Kumar have also been a very good bowler for them, but he was not that eco economical that Delhi wanted him to be. But yeah. In his recent performances, I would say, yeah, that they would definitely go with him. And they don't, if if they if Ishan if Ishan Sharma doesn't perform, then they would have to look for another uh, uh, either of uh, and and Andrek Nokia and Lungi Angidi. But yeah, definitely backing the Indian ballers in there as the five as the five main ballers, and having Mitchell Marsh in the squad as well, who can cover up the overs if someone is going out of hands. And if someone is getting conceded so many runs, but yeah, I would say that these five ballers, they are the full packed bowling line for Delhi Capitals. So you are backing Indian and, ballers to handle uh, the load as far as bowling is concerned. Yeah. I think the overall yeah, success, success, success. Uh, I think the overall success of Delhi would be dependent on their Indian talent. Uh, because if you see they have Warner and Marsh up the order, but the middle order would mostly be dependent on the Indian talent, uh, whether it is uh, Rishabh Pant, who is obviously proven, uh, but Akshar Patel has to come good with the bat because uh, he can have a major role to play and Kumar Koshagra, uh, the prize which he has been given with, uh, he would surely have to step up and perform uh, in his first season. So, and even the bowling, uh, Mukesh Kumar and Khalil Ahmed, uh, Mukesh Kumar's T20 records are not that impressive, uh, if I may say so. But then uh, I think it would be crucial uh, for the Indian talent to step up and perform well. Yeah, so now that we have both the playing 11s from both these people, just a last and a quick question. Where, How far do you see Delhi Capitals go this upcoming season? Uh, if not see, playoffs, then I would definitely want them to... Uh, considering. Give me a concrete answer. <laughs> please, please give me a concrete answer. There's no yeah. if and but. Yeah. Okay. So considering how many uh, the competitive teams they are, there are in the in the IPL and the squad they carries. So I don't think so that they will qualify for the playoffs. But yeah, definitely will make uh, above the last season's position. Okay. So maybe you are expecting them to at least finish finish eighth and not ninth. Definitely not. Just that above, but yeah, definitely sixth, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I feel uh, they would finish around fourth or fifth in the table. Uh, they might just qualify, but I think their bowling is something uh, which uh, is not so strong, according to me. So if their bowling steps up, uh, they could well finish in the, uh, at the fourth or the fifth spot. Uh, I think their bowling is something uh, which is concerning for me. And if their bowling steps up, they can well be in that uh, playoff. They can well get that playoff spot and finish in the fourth. But that is an area where they would have to uh, look at. And uh, I personally want them to finish in the 
top four just because of Rishabh Pant. Uh, honestly speaking, I want his comeback season uh, to be a good one. So I feel that uh, yeah, would be a dicey situation for them. But if their bowling steps up, uh, they can surely qualify. Uh, I would like to apologize to DC Tolly because none of the people here think that they are going to win the IPL. So <laughs> cannot do anything. But we wish Delhi Capitals best of luck going forward into the season. And uh, yeah, that's it from our side. Thank you so much. Yeah, we definitely. So it's it's very it, it it. I would say it was a very interesting conversation, especially having Chitranj on board with us. So I would like to thank him, and I would like to thank all our viewers who have given so much love in our previous video. And we are really keen to uh, invite you to see more of our videos as we are coming up with many more videos on IPL. So yeah, that's it from our side. My side, uh, Raghav with Devans and Chitranj. Uh, call it a video for a for this team delhi capitals and we as sitran said we really wish them best and we really wish all the teams best of luck and definitely we want some other team to win this time not just csk or mi claiming their six six titles again so yeah that's yeah, the thing no <laughs> yeah that's why i mentioned ke koi aur team chahiye no, csk or rcb was harmed in this comment <laughs> <laughs> so yeah thank you so much that's it from our side bye bye